Hey, Trisha Martin here. In today's video, we're going to focus on a couple of different cool things. One is, if you don't think you can art, you're lying to yourself because you have a phone. Your phone probably has a camera like mine does. What I like to do is go around the house and take pictures of stuff, right? The second thing that actually brings me into my second thing is, I want to teach you how to make Deep Dream Generators algorithm your Please. That's right, I said it. Came out a little different though, you probably heard it different. That's all right. So I want you to join me on an adventure. I was going to take you on a backyard adventure, but yeah, um, weather's not so good for cameras today. So we're going to go on an inside adventure, which is cool because you got a house, I got a house. Go around, join me now. Get out your phone, get your camera ready, and just go around your house and get bobbles. Now, your bobbles are going to be way different from my bobbles, I almost guarantee it. That's all right. Anything you think is cool, grab it, take a picture of it, and I'm going to show you how to make a uh, base image and style uh, for the algorithm for a deep dream generator. And we're going to do that, and my base image is going to be Steve. So, go pick your, your base image, and let's do this. Let's go around. Let's find something. Let's find cool stuff. Welcome to my world. Alright, so we've got our bobbles. We've lit for Steve. Now we just gotta get them ready for a deep dream generator so we can make them into really cool things, make the style cling to Steve, and make them become a couple. So we're gonna take them into Photoshop, maternity board, and make them have a beautiful baby. And the way we start with that is we take a picture of Steve. All right. We've got Steve on the phone, and let's jump into Photoshop. Aw, oh, crap. All right, so now we've got our picture of Steve. we got our style that I put together and took a picture of. Now, I have very specific reasons for putting this style together the way I did. I take into consideration the way Steve looks. And throughout my time on Deep Dream Generator, I found that the algorithm really, really, really digs contrast. It likes to mimic the contrast of, of the base image and the style, right? So you can alter both of them to work together. Now, it also, if you're using a color base image and a color style, the colors tend to gravitate. And if there's like off colors or whatever, that just vomits everywhere, ever, you know. But yes, you could totally tailor your base image and your style so the algorithm sticks crap where you want it to stick, right? So here, let's go to Photoshop now and I will show you, you know, how everything came out. All right, here we have the, the base image of Steve. This is the picture I took of him hanging on the wall like the happy fella he is. Look at him be happy. And this is the style. This is how the picture came out, the original style. So I'm going to turn Steve back on. What I did was to make the style... You know, kind of like going to date with the, with the, why well, am I always talking about dating and babies and stuff? I don't know. I'm 51 years old. I don't care about that stuff no more. Anyway, so I took, a, <laughs> here's a, anyway, here's how the original dream came out with no Photoshop help whatsoever. So this is what it looked like. As you can see, the pink of the feathers and the style kind of st stuck here. Um... Let's turn this off again. You can see where where we lit the pink parts. The pink definitely tried to stick to that, those parts up here. I don't know why. It's kind of sticking to the squirrel. I do know why. There's a little bit of a pink cast on the squirrel. But, um, yeah, and you can see where the clothespins of the style were sticking in this dude down here. But it's not quite 
present enough for me. Plus, I kind of want the pink of the feathers to stick in Steve's hair. That was kind of my original intent. But I knew I was going to take it into Photoshop and it was close enough. Anyway, so, after we take Steve into Photoshop, what I did was, see what happened was, I put some shadows on him. That's off. On. I put some highlights on him. That's on. That's off. Right? Put some highlights on him. And I put some pink on his tires. And I sampled the color of the rose petals and painted his eyes with those. And accented the teeth and everything like that. Because that's where I want the style to stick, right? And what I did with the style was... Let me turn Steve off. What I did with the style was... I added some shadows. That's on, off, on, off, on. Added some highlights here and there where I wanted the petals to stick kind of to his eyes and other, you know, parts, everything. So, anyway, here is how the dream came out the second time. Now, take in mind, go back and watch my introduction to Deep Dream Generator video because I'm about to say a little bit more of some advanced stuff, like if you've already used Deep Dream Generator. I'm going to talk about the settings that I had it on. The original dream I had set on one iteration and I had it on 60 for the style weight and 80 for the, the style, oh god. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you might. Hold on, let's go to Deep Dream Generator because I can't for the life of me remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's kind of, it's getting late. Anyway, yeah, let's see. The style style scale. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. So, 60 style weight, 80 style scale, one iteration. And when I, after the Photoshop thing, because I did want it to be more prominent, like the skulls and stuff to be more prominent in Steve, I put the, this is how it came out, but I had the settings on 1.2 iterations, the style weight of 70, and the style scale of 90, and this is how it came out. So, turn Steve back, the original Steve back on, so that's, well, that's with Photoshop, let me get the original Steve, there we go, original Steve, Second Dream Steve. Now, you can see what I did. What did I do? Let's recap. I went around my house. I got bobbles, right? You probably have less spooky bobbles than I do. Whatever bobbles you got, it's cool. Doesn't matter. Take your phone. Take a picture of your crap for, to use as your base image. Kind of, you know, look at your base image and be like, hmm, what can I put here that might match this when the algorithm gets to it? Ah, put it all together. Take another picture of it. Put in Deep Dream Generator, see what it does at first, and notice where the algorithm is vomiting things, right? Where is this sticking? Where is this sticking? Then you can take it into whatever program you're using. I'm using Photoshop. You can be using Affinity Designer, Canva, whatever. You can watch Juna on Detour Shirts and Ryan Hogue. They give some tutorials on how to use that kind of thing um, as alternatives to Photoshop. But anyway, just put it in the Photoshop and mess with the, up the, boost the contrast, um, boost the saturation, you know, put highlights and shadows here and there where you want the certain things to stick. And you got art, even when you don't think you can art. Look at what I did. I did it from nothing. I took my phone and I just went and did things. You can do the same thing, man. Don't ever say you can't art again, because look. You can do it. And I want to show, I want you to show me what you've done. Please, I would love that. Show me on Facebook. Show me in the groups, that, you know, like Juno's group and Ryan Hope's group on Facebook. Show me on Instagram. Show all my social medias everywhere. Show me what you've made because that would just, I would do happy dances. Anyway, create things, man. Have an easy one. Bye. Hey, Trisha Martin here. <laughs> <laughs> and take four. In a minute. <laughs>
was like, am I a fish? <laughs> or would you rather be a fish? Fish heads, fish heads. No, that's holy, totally holy. different. Aw. <laughs> you just took my headpiece away. I was Hudson hawking it. You Hudson went fish Hawk head. It, I, you know. Or would you rather be a fish? I know. Anyway, fish go. Fish heads, fish heads, roly-poly fish heads. That's better. Is that better? Okay. That is.